it's supposed to stay wet, so that's why I threw it in the water. Do you have a pool that you're always monitoring the chemicals, plus you have some cool APER equipment that you'd like to be able to actually control while in the pool? This could be the answer for you. This is the APER Hydrocom Pro, which should really do all that for you. It is solar powered, monitors 24 seven, like every hour it analyzes your water, gives you a report, lets you know what's going on with your pool. And at this point you can communicate with X series bots, but I'm sure as time goes forward, even more models will be able to communicate through this as well. So it's really a two in one Package, but let's stop talking about it. Let's see what it looks like. April always comes with the nice packaging with the instructions right on the back of it. This looks like an instruction book to me. Wow, oh, it is. Imagine that. I guessed it right. Instruction manual. So this is all part of the probe system here. I believe that sits at the bottom. Again, this is the first time I'm opening it up just along with you guys. Charger. Obviously, you're gonna give it a charge, and then once it's charged in the pool, the sun's gonna take over from there. Calibration powder for the probe, and a storage cover for the probe. Interesting. Powder mixer and a lanyard. Let's get to the fun stuff. Oh, check this thing out. I haven't seen this since CES when it was floating in a little pool there. Look at this, wow. Look, this could be a space station in Star Trek. Beep, 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 beep. All right, space station in your pool. Only one thing that's gotta happen now, right? I gotta read some instructions. Throw this thing in the pool, see how well it monitors the water, and then we gotta throw one of those X-series cleaners in the pool and see how well it communicates with that. See you in a couple days. say pull this hydrocom pro out and let's talk about it oh there it is so this isn't a cool little stand but this is actually for recalibrating it it is a little salty and dirty because it has been floating in my pool for a couple weeks now and i gotta say super fun a little disconcerting at the beginning right because some of the numbers in the app weren't like perfect perfect like i wanted to see our pool at like at 100 and it was like 84 85 87 in that area always very good it always said very good swimming water what have you but i kind of wanted perfect water but in talking with my pool professional and looking at the data he said the data that it was delivering was great told me a little bit why we had some things like a little off from the ultimate just because every one thing affects something else and so this was the perfect balance for our pool and we've never had an issue with it so anyway it has been really fun to be able to monitor that information to tell what the temperature is, the pH, the salinity, all those things. And we've been doing really well. As a test, actually, when my pool guy was here, we actually let some water out and then refilled the little section of the pool just to see how it would impact the numbers and it impacted them exactly the way he had predicted and expected. So I'm gonna say I'm getting really accurate information because he said ahead of time what the numbers should be and they absolutely changed precisely the way he predicted. The other cool feature is this obviously communicates with your X-Series bots. So it is really fun to be able to recall your bot. Now, there isn't a whole lot you can do, like you can't control the bot, you can't kind of change functions and that kind of stuff, but you can, if you want to recall your bot, take it out of the water, you can do it using this. It will communicate to that bot underwater, and that did work when I tried to use it. I get the impression, there are a whole bunch of things about this that when you look at it, like it has two sensors in it, but there's room for a third, and there's only this limited functionality with the bots. So I really, knowing Aper, I feel like they built this with some growth in mind and maybe there'll be some firmware updates, maybe additional sensors will become available. But right now as it is, I think it's a really good value add, especially if you're taking care of the pool chemicals yourself. I mean, I have the luxury, I've got the pool guy who does all that. So it's not so important to me. But if I was the one responsible for making sure the pH level was right and the salinity level was right and all those kind of things, this would be a really, really good tool, like super huge value for that. A couple common questions I hear are how easy is it to set up? It took like two minutes to set up. It was super easy. You pretty much take it out of the box, install one sensor, connect it to the app, throw it in the water. Speaking of throwing it in the water, I'm gonna do that right now. 
it's supposed to stay wet, so that's why I threw it in the water. A question which I've seen, and I actually didn't even need to charge it. I am here in Southern Florida. It is like sunny every day kind of thing, and it had a good charge when I took it out of the box, so I simply set everything up, put it in the water, and it has been running off the solar power ever since. I think I'm close to a month now without any issue at all. Actually, just because I'm cool like that, I could take a look at the app and tell you how, what the power level is. I know you can't see it, but it is at 77% power. It's almost three o'clock in the afternoon and it's at 77% power. So I've had no issues with the power in this. And it is 85 degrees and pretty UV. It's already, interestingly, it's a seven out of 10 on the UV scale. And I am in a cage here in Florida, which is supposed to cut down the UV at about 30%. So does that mean it is a 10 out of 10 UV day today? So yes, yeah, so the power efficiency is great. The ease of use is great. Maintenance wise, I believe about every three months you have to uh, recalibrate everything. You just simply use this to put some clear water and some chemicals in it and you uh, put the device in there and recalibrate it, no big deal. So I would highly recommend this. I mean, I was surprised at how useful it is. And as I think about it, if I was the person responsible for the chemicals in this pool, it would be really extra useful. If you want it and you want to take advantage of that useless, there is a link right here on the screen. Worst case, it is down in the description. Please use that, it helps out the channel and we really do appreciate it. Doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help out the channel. This particular item, we were fortunate enough that Aper sent it to us. Um, we've worked with Aper before and they give us no instructions. And this has really been a stunning success. If this was helpful for you, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel because I'll have more helpful videos. If you have questions, put them in the comments. Let's hear what your questions are and see if we can work that out for you. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you in the next video. It's supposed to stay wet, so that's why I threw it in the water. Uh-oh, I upset the dog. I didn't fall in, I didn't fall in. The Hydrocom Pro wanted to go for a swim. Not me, not me. I'm safe, I'm safe. Hi, lifeguard. I'm sorry about throwing that in the water. I didn't think of you. Lots of drama here.